Hello, my Whoop friend. I need your help. Are you from Europe and do you have a Meteor 75 Pro from Beta FPV? Or are you planning to buy one in the future? And would you like to fly the Meteor 75 Pro stock with motor plugs? Then please watch this video in its entirety and listen carefully. I have an important project that I would like to introduce to you. I need your help. Please tell your Whoop friends about this project too. Thank you in advance, my Whoop friends. I will now hand over to the AI voice to speak the rest of the video. I understand those who don't like the AI voice, but I ask you to please overcome your fear and watch the video anyway, even if you have trouble with AI voices. Thank you in advance for your adaptability. Hello, my whoop friends. In this video, I want to introduce you to my project about improving motor connector contact on tiny whoops for which I need your help. I will come back to this later. This project is for pilots who want to fly with motor connectors. Of course, every connector is a loss of efficiency and therefore directly soldered motor wires will always be better, which is why I personally fly without motor connectors. How you can desolder your motor connectors, I show you in another video. Link is in the video description of this video. But I understand the pilots who cannot or do not want to solder. In this video, it is about helping these pilots. It is about preventing or repairing the problems that motor connectors can cause. I have already made an in-depth video about this. Watch the video. Link is in the video description of this video. In short, motor connectors can develop electrical fretting. And because of that, the motor will eventually start to stutter. And at some point, the motor will not work at all anymore. Now it is about how to avoid this problem from the beginning or how to fix the problem if the motor stuttering is already present. This is where the contact enhancers come into play. Contact enhancers can improve an electrical contact through physical effects, which I will not go into detail about in this video and which, honestly, I also do not fully understand. If you want to know more about it, then watch the videos I linked in the description of my motor stutter problem video. Through these physical effects, in any case, a more efficient current transmission should be possible. This can also give a small performance increase. However, this performance increase is probably in the range where it is not noticeable for the pilot. In this project, it is also not about a performance increase, but primarily about preventing or eliminating electrical fretting on the motor connectors and the related motor stuttering. The main goal of this project is to find out if contact enhancers are suitable for solving this problem. For me personally, the project is a learning field where I can learn something new. Among other things, also working together with the community. I need your help, my whoop friend. More about that later. There are different contact enhancers on the market. Stabilant 22 is a proven contact enhancer that is used on a large scale in aviation and which is therefore very sympathetic to me. It is easy to use and seems to be approved by aviation. NPS Encore is a contact enhancer that according to the manufacturer goes very deep into physics and therefore should work well. The manufacturer is very convinced of the real life capabilities of the product. And that is somehow sympathetic to me because for me, only real life results count. Deoxit Gold and Shield are contact enhancers that have been on the market for some time and according to my research, have quite a good reputation on the internet. That is why I also want to test these contact enhancers. There are also other similar contact enhancer alternatives such as dielectric contact grease, which for me is a bit too nasty to use, as well as conductive grease, which is too difficult to use because this grease has to be applied very precisely since, as the name suggests, it is conductive. That is why I decided on these three contact enhancers, which are sponsoring this project. I thank the manufacturers for sponsoring this project. Now, I need your help, my whoop friends. I need some test pilots from Europe who fly the Meteor 75 Pro with motor plugs. I've already invested over 10 hours in this project and would appreciate your help. I would like to thank the test pilots who have already confirmed their participation and sent me an email. 
If you're interested in the project, please contact me this week. Email is in the channel info. The project in brief. The goal of this project is to test whether contact enhancers can prevent electrical fretting on the Meteor 75 Pro's motor plugs and the subsequent motor stuttering problem after about 150 to 200 flights. A small study of contact enhancers on tiny whoops, so to speak. Requirements for test pilots. You have a Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro or are willing to buy a new one. You are willing to make 200 to 300 flights with the 75 Pro in the next two to three months. You are able to complete 200 to 300 flights without the motors sustaining damage due to extreme crashes. You will keep a log of the number of flights. You are willing to work with me and share the results with me and the community. My role in the project, leading the project, dividing the test pilots into the different groups of the various contact enhancers and the control group. I will provide the contact enhancer I received from the sponsors or ensure that your WHOOP is equipped with a contact enhancer. I don't know exactly how yet. I may send small quantities of the contact enhancer in small containers, or you can send the WHOOP to me and I'll install the contact enhancer and forward the WHOOP to you. At the end, I'll summarize the results and make a video for the community. Of course, I can mention all the test pilots' names and their YouTube channels in the video if desired. If you're interested in the project, please contact me this week. Email is in the channel info. Project structure. Two 75 Pro pilots without modifications to the WHOOP control group. Two 75 Pro pilots who fix the motor connectors with adhesive. No contact enhancer. Two 75 Pro pilots who use contact enhancer A. Two 75 Pro pilots who use contact enhancer B. Two 75 Pro pilots who use contact enhancer C. 275 Pro Pilots who use Contact Enhancer D. And if a lot of pilots are interested, the following would also be possible. 275 Pro Pro Pilots who use Contact Enhancer A and Adhesive. 275 Pro Pilots who use Contact Enhancer B and Adhesive. 275 Pro Pilots who use Contact Enhancer C and Adhesive. 275 Pro Pilots who use Contact Enhancer D and Adhesive. With 12 to 20 pilots, we could conduct a really nice little study and yes, I know it's only a small study, but in this case, it doesn't need to be a large one because we'll quickly see if the engine stuttering problem can be resolved. It's not about seeing the performance gain, which is very small. Personally, I'm just interested in solving the problem of the motor stuttering, and this doesn't require a large study or unrealistic bench tests. If you are interested in the project, please contact me this week. Email is in the channel info. The email is hidden you need to click to unhide it, and it only works on a desktop computer somehow. Some additional information can be found in the video description. Please watch my many other tutorials on this YouTube channel if you want to know more about how to modify a tiny boop or how to learn FPV flying and racing.